Mark, I found you standing next to this picture, ironically enough, at John Carroll, but you're the head coach at Mountaineer. Who do we have? Who is this? Uh, this guy, he was a Mountaineer wrestler. This was taken my freshman year. Uh, that guy, that's me. <laughs> so it's kind of ironic, me wearing, me wrestling for John Carroll, wrestling for my guy, now coaching the opposite. I'll point out before anyone else does. It highlights, it's true. Yeah, you, you definitely. And a Morgan Hector. You, you definitely hit. Oh my goodness. Wow. Looks like there's lip, lips someone kissed that. Yeah, it looks like you got a so lipstick on you. All right, so let's talk about the duel tonight. You All guys right. definitely. Uh, and I hear, I, hear, I hear your dad coming too. I hear your dad coming too. Oh, there he is. There's Big Mark Haywald, two time national champion, D1 All American. But, Mark, talk about the duel tonight, you guys. I mean, last year it was the barn burner. Yeah. But uh, this year, I mean, you guys won handily. Uh, you had your All-American out. Still were able to, to handle your your, uh, your old squad and alma mater. But uh, you know, what did you like out of like a 125 pounder Ricky Reynolds? Uh, I thought he came out a little slower, but you could tell there's two uh, two of those guys probably caught a little more weight than, than they wanted to. They were both like, kind of slow. He won the match, got it done, took care of business. So that was that was good. Um, at 33. This, this guy is got a done. gift of buy. A gift. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, you don't like to see it happen, but you're not going to turn it away either. Uh, 41. Uh, we wrestled. We wrestled pretty good. Uh, kept it, it was a close match, but we, we did what we had to do again. Uh, so I think our first two guys are a little slower out of the box than I wanted, but then we started opening up uh, Richie Clark at 149. Wrestled pretty well. Had some defensive takedowns and a couple of offensive scores then too. Uh, we had our, our Brian Scoff out, actually the first time he's missed a duel uh, since he's been with us. Uh, and he had a little bit of a bang up from Saturday, so Cody Severino filled in, did alright, but it's too much to handle with uh, Couldn't give up there. Can't give up that deep waist. <sighs> yeah, so uh, he gave up the tech, so I guess going into that match I was thinking kind of Year ago, 16-0, we come back and win. This I was, year, I said it. I was like, oh man, 15-0, they're gonna storm we're back here. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want that that to go uh, the other way. So, but then luckily, John Pashuda wrestled real well. Uh, at 65, 74, Mike Manny Penny again performed for us. Uh, they have a tough kid at 84, Adam. So, it's two-time qualifier. So, he kind of showed. Show what that's all about at 84, uh, 97. We got a freshman filling in for Shindell. Uh, gets a tech ball. And he was in some shots, but actually, I said to him, Welcome to the big leagues when he got out because he, he used to do that to kids last year, a year ago, and the uh, tables have turned. So he's got a lot to work on, but it's good to give him an opportunity. Then Heston puts it over with the, uh, the pin, puts it away. So Dominating awesome. fashion yeah, as well. Yeah. So it was good, good, good duel meeting, nice to win here. After two years ago we were here, we just got throttled, so that was nice for me. Two years in a row over my home school, so that was, that was pretty fun. Is it nice to see it turn around so quickly for you guys, to go from getting absolutely pummeled two years ago here, to winning a barn burner last year, to you guys kind of doing the pummeling this year? Yeah, yeah, it's, that's nice. Uh, I like the, uh, the instant gratification, I guess. You know, I, when you bust your ass, it, it's nice to get get the rewards quickly. Um, at the same time, you gotta know they're not, you gotta keep busting though. So I mean, it's nice to get these wins, but we're still trying to, to make a national impact. I mean, the rankings just came out today, new rankings, top 30, we're still on that list. So we got a lot to grow. Uh, we got a lot to grow here because I want to be a top 30 team if we're probably third top 35, but I mean, we want to go out to Nationals and have All-American, it's not. Just but you did have an All-American last year. Well, I mean, like multiple. I mean, we want to be a top 10 team, so so that's what we're shooting for. So these wins are nice, but it's just back to the drawing board still. All right, Mark, you got anything else for me? Uh, I Should I just so. interview this guy? Uh, I'm just going to say a lot. The funny story. Uh, yeah, give me the story behind it. Uh, a girl I was dating in college walked by. Well, first I'll tell you, I was working out one day down the weight room, and I look in the mirror, and I see down there. I was like, oh, uh, I'm doing clean something. I look in the mirror and see the reflection. I'm like, like they just done this. I'm like, wait, who's that kind of idea? I did want to step back and see it was me. But uh, like when I joked earlier about the kiss, I think my cousin was here and kissed it. Like, it was for fun. The girl I was dating at the time was like, pissed off. Like she's like, I want to buy some of these footprints on that thing. So, <laughs> but it was a dude. Yeah, and they were pretty thick. <laughs> no, it was, my, it was my cousin did it, but she came up to watch me wrestle. Alright Mark, I gotta grab your dad. I know he likes right. to get out of here. Alright brother? Yep. See ya. Thanks. Thanks for the time.